All right, so we have uh, multiple posting parsing, uh, and actually I forgot to commit uh, in the last video, so let's go ahead and do that now. And I think the next step is to make it so that we can actually read uh, more than 1024 characters worth of postings. Uh, that's kind of limiting. And ideally, we want to basically read a stream of postings uh, from standard in and process them as they come in. Rather, parse them as they come in and then depending on, like if we're calculating the balance of an account or something as the postings come in we can figure out how to figure uh, we can change the value like in some sort of running total uh, for each account and then uh, that way we can sort of treat the input as a stream and calculate stuff on the fly and then when the stream is done uh, we output the result and that way we're not having to like build a buffer uh, in memory of all the data we're reading um, which I mean on modern systems it doesn't matter that much because we have so much memory that we're probably not gonna uh, use all of it or even come close to running out but it's nice to write it in such a way that we can uh, process it as it comes in, process the postings as they come in. So, the first step, I guess, is to um, yeah, first, for the sake of simplicity, let's just uh, Actually, no, let's not, uh, let's not. I was gonna write the code that would like store uh, all of the input in the buffer and then send it off to processing, but I think that would sort of be too complicated uh, and it would be too different from what I want to actually do here. So, let's see. Well, we have one nice thing about this format is that it's easy to figure out uh, where the end of the next posting is. So like, if we start reading here, we know that the end is going to be here because we have two new lines. Um, if there's only one new line, it'll be a continuation of the posting. Uh, so we can... I guess, uh, uh, best thing to do would be to write a function that finds the uh, next new line, or next uh, double new line. So, um, let's see. find posting end, give it a buffer, and a size uh, for the buffer, and what we can do is read however many characters you want into this buffer using fread, then um, start from the beginning of that buffer and look for the posting end. Uh, for each of the postings that we get uh, and process them uh, as we find them and then eventually uh, there might be like a partial posting or something in the in the buffer and we won't uh, we'll, we'll know that it's not complete because we don't find two new lines that terminate it uh, and then at that point we can read more data into the buffer um, 
So that's what we're gonna do. But first we have to find the double new line thing. So how do we do this? We use memchar for finding a single new line. Uh, let me see. I always forget what the parameters are for these. Buff new line count. So this will give us a new line. And well, now minus buff is less than count. Maybe we can do yeah, let's just do less than count for now. We can figure out the actual bounce later. Um, if I know if we have a new line and the character after it is a new line. Then we return the location of the new line minus the buffer. I guess then we're just uh, we're returning the size. Maybe we should make it a sign size because this is a function that can error out. Um, And if we don't find a double new line, then we can set the count to what's left in the buffer after we go past that new line that we found. So, and I'll, uh, sorry. There, minus one maybe. I don't know. We can we can play around with that and see if that's correct. I'm not entirely sure. Um, and then buff equals ml plus one. So let's see what this outputs. Actually, we need to turn minus one down there. Okay, let's see what this outputs when we run it on our buffer. LD. I know that's not the right thing, but it doesn't matter. Uh, since we don't have a make file yet, I should make a make file at some point. Okay, so we get minus one. going wrong here buff equals nl plus one that makes sense Let's see what the count is
18. I'm not sure about that. Um, that seems way too short. I'm gonna I'm gonna print the count down here as well. Print the count there. It should be the same. Count you. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Count minus new line minus buff because we are getting rid of the uh, this difference. Okay, now we're getting an actual value out that is. Okay, let's, let's clear this out. I think it's giving 12. Yeah, 12, which is not right, but I assume that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, never mind, that doesn't make sense. Um. Oh, yeah, okay. Just keep track of the count up there, the original count, and do that. Yeah, that's a more reasonable value. Um, actually, let's do like a hex dump on test.journal to see if that is. Um, Correct value. So we want it to be at the end of assets cache. What are we getting? 39. That's 30. Wait. What's 39 hex? That is 27, 27, uh, 39 decimal is 27 hex, so. Two, one, two, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I guess eight. Um, okay, that's not right. with the characters there so I can be certain
Wait, no. Okay. That's more reasonable. 68. Which I'll apprentice a character. I actually have no idea why that happened. But that is a D. Which is the end of USD, presumably. Uh, so that's not right. Um. see what the characters that it's outputting are. Oh, maybe because we're not incrementing count here. And so it returns one line shorter. I'm going to assume that that is what that is and move it up here. Okay. That's a more reasonable answer. And then... Count. I think this is right. Maybe that would be more right. Yeah, it looks more right. Um, I just want to make sure we're getting a new line for that value. Yeah, okay. That's a new line. Um, then maybe just be doubly safe and make sure that that's a new line too. Okay. Okay, so at least we can find that uh, double new line now. So let's see what happens when we run it uh, on this on buff plus out plus one. Let's 
print the result of this too. So let's eat the white space here. So that should get rid of our other new line. Okay, so we need a point here. have one. Yeah, we did. I'll just ignore this one for now. Obviously, we need it back. One oh four. Okay. Now, oh, why am I doing all this? I think all we need is to.
Yeah, okay, this is fine for now. Um, I guess we can test it by putting it down here. correct um, so now we should check if if out equals minus one then we need to read more data into the buffer but we need to keep the existing data as well So we could do something um, like oh I'm using the buffer there, not the pointer. Let's check this and see if that works properly. Nope. Oh, okay. I assume we're getting stuck in this loop. Actually, no, that doesn't make sense. We can't be getting stuck in that loop. Um, we're getting stuck in this loop. So in that case, we should be returning a minus one, right? Because there is no uh, double new line. So we're going down to 13. Let's see what the count is there. Yeah, there it's zero. So we're reading outside of the bounds of the array, or we were. Now we shouldn't be. Um, but of course, we are not checking if out is minus one. Let's do that. And make sure we're getting that here. Yeah. So when out is minus one, that 
that means we need to either read more or um, if we've already read the whole file then terminate in this case we've already read the whole file um, so out is minus one and we'll use count otherwise we'll use out and then if out is minus one if uh, We're at the end of the file, then we break. Otherwise, we need to read more data. So we can um, I don't think we want to, yeah, we want to use memmove because we're dealing with a potentially overlapping um, thing here and memcopy doesn't handle that properly, but memmove does, so we do memmove. Move it to buffer, move it from pointer, and we do count because that's what's left. And then you can once again read from standard in. Pointer, and we're going to do read size of buff minus count characters. And we're going to check if there's an error. Um, we should exit fatally and um, I think that should suffice Actually, no, we need to update count to be red plus count, count plus equals red. And then we can restart the loop from the beginning. Oh yeah, we need to set pointer to the beginning of buffer as well. So let's see what this does. That's a good sign. Um, I'm going to try to let's see how many characters our test journal is. It's 190 characters. So I'm going to reduce the buffer to 120 characters and see if we get the same output. Okay.
So let's see, where's our segmentation fault happening? Um, I'm just gonna GDP this. equals one So how is length becoming this monstrous value? Where is it happening? It's happening in, in this loop where we're parsing the posting lines, okay. I'm going to print out the length here to make sure we're actually getting that uh, value. Yeah. So I assume the length value is getting messed up here. And it's getting messed up, presumably, because our buffer is smaller than it was before. Um, so let's see what the... Let's see what these pointers are. Mm, okay, so we're getting a... So we're not doing the null check here. I, I believe this returns null if the character isn't found, or I assume it does. Yeah. This is null return minus one. Let's see if that fixes it. fix something but we're still not getting this uh, this entry let's figure out why that's happening oh because we're we're breaking here um, so and out doesn't equal minus one so it'll only break um, if uh, basically we have a complete posting and it still fails to parse it successfully. Nice, there we go. Uh, so we get this entry as well now. And um, if 
Let's add some. Let's add even more entries. Uh, just for the heck of it. And to stress test this a little bit. Not exactly sure why I need fifty thousand dollars worth of pizza twenty times in one day, but Okay, this is interesting. For some of them, I assume when the buffer runs out of data, uh, we're just getting one here. So Why is this happening? I'm not exactly sure. Oh wait, how many entry how many pizza entries do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can't even count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, way more than twelve. So I assume these are the ones where it runs out of uh, buffer to parse, so then it reads more and then parses it successfully the next time, and we can check that and see if it's true by just counting all the ones where it where we have two, so that's five, seven, nine. Eleven, thirteen. That's maybe I miscounted over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. Okay, so maybe there's a case where it's parsing it correctly, or parsing the two entries correctly, but we're still getting a minus one for read. And This one for out. Uh, sorry, out. Yeah, okay. So it ends up parsing it 13 times. Um, for 12 entries, because for some reason we get a minus one here. And at the moment, I don't care enough to understand why. Um, But the point is, we have uh, we are now able to parse a stream of postings that is arbitrarily long because we go back and read more and more as we need them. Let me make sure it works with our 1024 buffer. And yeah, uh, it does. I guess all of these fit inside that buffer. Yeah, it's only 850 characters long. So, I think that will do it for this video. Um, I think in the next one, now that we've got all the basic parsing and but we don't really have the basic parsing down because we're not able to parse actual values, actual monetary values. We can only parse integers. So I guess that's the next step to get 
uh, decimal values here and of course can't use floats because that will introduce imprecision um, which we don't want when we're dealing with monetary values uh, so yeah that's what the next video will be